It's Spencer Crandall. I'm here with the Nash News. We're on the CMT red carpet and it's about to go down. Come with us. Okay, so you have some collabs, obviously, already. Your number one draft pick for your collab of all genre, dead or alive. That's right, and they have to do it. I will peer pressure them into it, and that should be enough. Man, I, all genre. All genre. All genre changes things, bro. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm going with Michael Jackson. Mm. Mega fan. Oh. Mega fan. Just not only of his artistry, obviously we'd be doing coordinated dance moves to our song on stage for sure. Of course. But in the studio, man, his producer mind, him and Quincy, like, I, I want that just to experience that. Absolutely. You know Even if the song ended up being a flop, the experience the exact, alone, dude. Exactly. I feel like this is everybody's, but I just, like, Justin Bieber. I, I have mean, Bieber fever. I can't help I it. I do, too. So that would be that would be at the top of my list. That's sure. incredible. Now let's go with all genre. Number one draft pick collab. You can pick anybody, alive or dead. I'll give you ooh, even ooh. our deceased friends. Patsy Klein. Ooh. I would do Patsy Klein. That'd be it. That's That'd a be great it. answer. She'd be amazing. I would Absolutely. love that. She's so haunting with her melodies and like incredible. I would love to work with her. That'd be I love that answer. So if you know her. <laughs> Patsy, come back from the grave. Um so sad. Ed Sheeran. Ooh. That's an underrated answer. You're the first Ed of the night. Really? I'm honored. He's mass. I mean, I would kill. I would kill to collab with him. Ashley Cook would kill to collab. I would kill. She would literally. She'd probably kill me first. Um, who's the number one draft pick for the all genre Lily Rose collab is? Uh, Post Malone. What a great freaking answer. When he does his country record. I know. You're going to be on that B. Hey, I I'm calling it. it right now. Malone and Diplo are my two bucket list, Ooh. so we'll see. We'll see. Guys, we know you're watching. We know you're listening. Make this shit happen. <laughs> Diplo, okay. if you're listening, I'm in. <laughs> All genre. Think outside of country music. You could be collabing with anybody. Post Malone. Post Malone. Post. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Elvis. Come on. I mean, yeah, this is that number one. And you Elvis. played Elvis. How was that experience? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was, a, it was big blue suede shoes to fill, right? Yeah. But, you know, you just try to play them like as close to how he would have felt you know try to play him as a person not as a caricature that's what I try to do and and you know it, it's just I it was a dream come true for me I mean I, I've been an Elvis fan since I was a kid and so to really get to step into that and to meet a lot of his friends and get to learn from them and hang out with them and be in Memphis while we were filming that that was special all genre collab it can be anybody in the world who's your number one draft pick they have to say yes Gwen Stefani Gwen Stefani Gwen's here so I will track her down personally. Gwen, <laughs> if you don't, no, just kidding. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, probably like like someone like like a like Garth Brooks or like I mean new to A's like Luke Combs, you know, like that that Justin Bieber. Shoot, if we're going all genre, Justin Bieber, absolutely bring him over to the country. I know he did some stuff with Dan Shape. Bieber. Let's, let's do some, like, Bieber. Do some country country, you know what I mean? Do yeah. Some nineties country with Bieber. Absolutely. Beeps. Let's let's just come out with a bang and do something completely different. That's kind of unfair. I know. Okay, it's gonna be cliche, but like it's gotta be Taylor. Of it's course. Be Taylor Swift. Taylor, we know you're listening. Like, I know you're watching this. Call me. Call us, Taylor. <laughs> All genre. Yes. You get to pick anybody. Yes. Collab of your dreams. There's a lot. Right now is Post Malone. You are like the second person who said that, and I think it's the most underrated answer. Really? I think he's one of the most underrated people in yeah. music. I'm trying to be on that country record that he makes. <laughs> Absolutely. Gonna, Posty, we know you're though. watching. We know you're watching. Come hang. Um, actually, also part of my manifestation, I'm from Argyle, Texas. He's from Denton, Texas. Those towns are like five minutes from each other. Um, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. For it's, God's he sake. He has no idea who I am, but he, he, he will. He will. If I was going like anybody ever, can they be dead? Yeah. We'll resurrect them for you. Okay, we'll resurrect him. Merle Haggard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I would love to do like a version of That's the Way Love Goes. Ooh, that's beautiful. That was a Crandall family going fishing song. Oh, so that's such that's a good one. The jam. So this is a, this is definitely the cross genre one, but um, I would say Gladys Knight. Um, oh, great yeah. answer, so underrated my, answer. Oh yeah. Well, so my grandma, uh, my dad's mom, um, who sadly passed away when my dad was 17 before I was born. Uh, my dad and all his brothers, she would sing Gladys Knight, and they would be the little pips, and they would dance. Oh. 
My heart, um, my heart. Midnight Train to Georgia is a song that whenever I'm in a troubled place or I, I, I don't know what to do, I listen to that song and I feel like my grandma's singing to me. So oh. I would love to, like, Gladys, if you're out there, like, I'm in one of those, you know, I would just, I would love to, like, sing with her and I would feel it. Like, I feel like I'm singing with my family. Absolutely. That's the best answer I've had all night. Thank, Thank you so you much know, for stopping by. Thank you so much.